This is DZFE's Maestro Filipino, a focus for music with a connection to home. For this edition, I'm Daniel. The National Music Competitions for Young Artists was one of those events that persisted even through the pandemic. But even though the music remained online, what everyone truly missed was the fellowship over it. Now that has been restored, and it is a wonder seeing musicians of different ages, all young though they may be, together in their common calling. Such is evident in the two pairs of winners joining us in part two of our spotlight on Namsia 2022. The first pair are violinists Theodore Tan and Cedric Uson. One is a first-timer in Namsia, the other joining one more time before he becomes a senior. Both share the first place in the junior strings category. The second pair are Gilbert Dispo, music and artistic director and conductor of the Kalashau treble chorus, and Sherwin Cabrales, conductor of the Ilocos Norte National High School Youth Choir. The two choirs not only share the second place in the junior choir category, but they also both come from Region 1. We listen to their experiences as we continue our feature on Namsia 2022, beginning with our violinists Theodore Tan and Cedric Uson. First, Cedric Uson's recording of the third movement of Felix Mendelssohn's Violin Concerto. With him is pianist Raki Hendranu.
Cedric, you come from a family of musicians, so tell us how you got into music. My first instrument was actually not violin. Around like maybe three years old to five years old, I was playing the piano. But then when I was six years old, my mom introduced me to violin. And since then, my teacher was teacher Sarah Maria Gonzalez. Until now, she is still my violin teacher. So I've been playing the violin for 11 years, going 12 years. Violin is like more of a heritage thing. It's like something that runs through our family. It's a thing that we do. I have some titas and some titos that actually plays instruments too, but did not take music in college. So I'm pretty free of what my college decision will be, but violin will always be in my heart. Teddy, you are 13, so how did you become a musician? I think when I was around four years old, I was watching a show called Elmo's World, and one of the episodes there was about violin. And after watching it, I uh, really wanted to learn violin. So I uh, ended up taking violin. I think we had three different schools. And then I picked the closest one, Green Hills Music Studio. You've already dedicated so much of your life to music. So what do your parents think about it? From what I noticed, I think they're okay with it. Having fun with it right now. <laughs> Cedric, is this your first time joining Namsia? Uh, no, it actually is my third time joining Namzi. My first time is when, I think 2017 or 2018, I'm not sure, but I didn't make it past the eliminations round. And my second time was in 2020, where I got into semis. And this is my third time, which I got first place, <laughs> luckily. So why did you decide to join again this year? I figured that it was my last time, for the junior category that is. Because I'm turning 18, I really wanted to get a place, at least a place, or get first place uh, in Namsia. Because since I was like eight years old, two years uh, into playing violin, I learned, uh, I discovered Namsia. And my Tita is actually also a Namsia winner, second place. That's why I was very inspired and I, I really wanted to win Namsia also. Well, my teacher Sarah is also. That's why I'm also very thankful to teacher Sarah and Sir Jeffrey Solaris of the Manila Symphony Junior Orchestra for the support they've given me throughout my NAMSI journey. Well, thank you so much, Cedric. What about you, Teddy? Is this your first time? Yes, it's actually my first time joining NAMSHA. My teacher, teacher Gina, wanted me to uh, join NAMSHA, and I felt like it would be a good experience. It was also my first face-to-face -face competition. We didn't expect to win first place, actually. My goal was just to get to final so that I can show off the pieces I practiced. It was a very interesting experience. I uh, had to uh, learn how to uh, perform under nervousness. It was nice. Also, at the finals, I think I was asked, you didn't look very nervous on stage. <laughs> I was very nervous on it. 
Also, during the national anthem uh, before the finals, I could feel my heart going faster than normal. <laughs> It was a nice experience, though. Yeah, it's great that you enjoyed. So what was preparation like? We were actually preparing for general competitions, I think, before Namsha. And we had, uh, I think, all of the repertoire ready, except the sonata. So for Namsha, we had around two or three months to do the sonata, I think. And I was able to learn it online, which was very interesting. <laughs> Happy with how it came out, though. It was nice to prepare for Namsha because uh, I was also trying out waking up early to practice. I think it worked because it helped me in Namsha. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Teddy. What about you, Cedric? What was preparing for Namsha like for you? Since I've been joining Namsha for like maybe five or six years, preparing for Namsha is like a really serious thing to me. Since 2018, I didn't pass it to the semis. In 2020, we've been really hands-on, but only online because it was still really strict. But this 2022 NAMSIA, I was able to get lessons face-to-face. -face. I go to my lessons almost every day, taking the LRT and the MRT. That's why this NAMSIA 2022 is very special to me because it has very much hard work put into it. <laughs> Tell us about the pieces you chose for NAMSIA and why you chose them. In the final round of Namsia, I performed Mendelssohn Violin Concerto. It's the same in the eliminations round. I picked Mendelssohn Violin Concerto because it was also my piece last Namsia 2020. So it was this moment just to hone it better, to detail it more, just to perfect it more. And Mendelssohn for me is also one of the concertos that is not easy to perform because it's very exposed and it really requires a level of musicality to perform it. Well, also technicality because there are some hard parts, but a lot of competitions actually prefer Mendelssohn Violin Concerto as a winner piece because it's a very majestic, it needs to have freedom, fantasy, it should speak, it should dance. This is one of my favorite parts. It's a piece of storytelling. When I perform, I don't really want to think of it as a competition, but it's like a concert for me. One more is the Filipino piece, which I picked Sakabukiran by Velez Romero. I picked this piece because it was very showy, and I think of it as an encore piece for my concerto. This is not your first time performing Mendelssohn, so in what way did you improve your playing? In Mendelssohn, phrasing is a very big factor. So on my first time playing Mendelssohn, I only think about the notes, the notes and the intonation. But in this Namsia, I focus more on the big phrasings, the big picture, and more of the stylistic character of each part because each part has its certain characteristics and what's special about it is each note has its own personality. So you really have to read the score perfectly so that you can make each note speak. Excellent. Thank you, Cedric. What about you, Teddy? Tell us about the pieces you chose and why you chose them. Okay. For the finals, they asked us to choose a full concerto piece and a Filipino piece. The concerto piece I chose was Mozart. My teacher gave me Mozart because it would help me learn how to refine my playing. It's a very nice training. She also said that it was very hard to win with the Mozart, so we didn't expect to win. <laughs> it was nice to learn it, though. For the Filipino piece, my teacher gave me Bai Kuba Bai Kabayao. <laughs> it was very difficult, but fun. <laughs> Thank you. 
violinist Theodor Tan in He Lopez Caballao's Bahay Kubo Variations. Earlier, we heard violinist Cedric Uson and pianist Raki Hendrano in the third movement of Felix Mendelssohn's Violin Concerto. They share the first place in the junior strings category of last year's national music competitions for young artists. Our next pair share not only the second place 